message today is, I'm talking about the devil now. I'm talking about the devil. I'm talking about the devil. Since everybody talking about God, let's talk about the devil. Do you believe in the devil? Do you believe in the devil? Now, I'm going to say this. The Bible says the God of this world have blinded their mind that they might believe not the glorious gospel to save them. My message is why people don't believe in the devil. Why people does not believe in the devil. Because, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you this, let me tell you, can we talk? See, the devil is not a pigmentation of your imagination. The devil is not fantasy. The devil is not a fairy tale. The devil is not finance. And the devil is not a fixture of your thoughts. And I'm going to say this. There's a lot of people, especially Christian, that does not believe in the devil. They think the devil don't have no power. Amen. They think the devil, it go to God, is just a thought. Amen. The devil don't exist. Now what the Bible say? This is what the Bible say. The Bible say, I created good and I created evil. A lot of people say, oh, God created evil? Listen, when the Bible say that, it, uh, it's saying that God created Lucifer, and Lucifer became evil. And the reason why Lucifer became evil, read it, read it, Isaiah, the 14th chapter, the five eyes of Satan. See, Satan was not Satan in the beginning. Amen. It was a Satan was not Satan in the beginning. Satan became became Satan in Isaiah, the 14th chapter. Amen. Hallelujah. And and if the people that don't don't believe in Satan, you are person don't don't read the Bible. There are a lot of Christians that does not read the Bible. And the reason why I don't read the Bible because they think the Bible is a man-made book. But I got, I got good news for you. The Bible talk about Satan. But see, the Bible talks about Lucifer. It talk about Lucifer, and it talk about... And a lot of you all, y'all don't believe in the devil. And I ain't saying believe in the devil mean have confidence in the devil. I'm saying that believe that he has power. And he has power of influence. He has power of deception. He has power to make you believe that he can go to God. He can give you all this power. And when we talk about the devil, hallelujah, how the devil told Eve in the Garden of Eden, Eden. Amen. It's amazing now Eve in the Garden of Eden is got deceived by the serpent. And the Bible say it go to God in Genesis chapter 3 verse 1. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord have made. And he said unto the woman, Ye have God say, ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden. And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the tree of the garden. But the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall he touch it, lest he die. And the serpent, listen, my friend, never have conversation with the devil. Because the devil is a smooth operator. The devil is cunning. The devil, my friend, might change your mind about God. Change your mind. Change your conscience. And the Bible says, and the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. So Satan is compromising. Hallelujah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a, I'm, I'm doing a message. Do a message on glory to God. Don't call, hallelujah, call them Pergamos. Because Pergamos means compromise. It's different between Pergamos and Philadelphia. I'm Philadelphia. 
I'm not a Pergamos. And Pergamos means Eve have compromised with the devil. And witches have compromised with the devil. Voodoo doctors have compromised with the devil. Amen. And the Bible said, hallelujah, he said, and the serpent said unto the woman, he shall not surely die. How many times the devil have talked to you? You better, you better drop, you better drop your drawers and the, and the, and the devil say you will not get pregnant, you will not get STD, you will not get drunk, you will not get hooked. Amen. You will, you will, you will take this, you will smoke this weed, and one time you be fine. How many times? Here I'm talking about the devil. Why people does not believe the devil? You're in a situation you're in right now because you don't believe the power of Satan. Satan is sensational. Amen. And the Bible says, and yeah, some of y'all saying, why are you give the devil so, so much power? Because the devil, if he tempt Eve, he's going to tempt Jesus. If he tempt Jesus, he's going to tempt you. That's what the Bible says. Let not, let not the man say we attempted. He attempted how the, could God tempt no man of evil. When sin has finished, it brings forth death. Do not err, my beloved brethren. Satan come with temptation and God come with tests. God wants you to elevate. God wants you to mature. God don't want you to stay a baby. God wants you to, hallelujah, wants you to, to grow up in God. Satan wants you to be destroyed. And the Bible say, for God does know that in the day he eat thereof, then your eyes shall be open and you shall be like God's doing good and evil. How many times people going after power? How much time people go after prosperity? How much time people go after personality rather than knowing the person? My friend, you in a situation you because you went after power, went after, went after prosperity, and went after personality. And the devil got you. Hallelujah. But I'm telling you, you can escape the devil. I escape the devil. I'm going to tell you how to escape the devil. Hallelujah. And it's a part, this is part one, part two coming up. And, and the Bible say that how, and the Bible say, and and was Jesus led by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil? Tempted by who? The devil. And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, he was hungry afterward, hunger. And when the tempter came to him, he said, If thou be the Son of God, command that the stone be made bread. Hear me. But he answered and said, It is written, Eve should have. See, Eve wasn't there when God gave the commandment. But her husband was there when she failed the test. Hey, and the Bible says, but he said unto him, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Then the devil take him up in, into a, high, a holy city and set him on a pinnacle and, of the temple and said to him, if thou be the son of God, cast thy, thyself down for it is written, he shall give thee charge concern thee and in their hand they shall bear thee up lest thou dash thy foot against the sound stone who, who that sound like that sound like a person that know the scripture and a person that twists the scripture my friend satan know the word satan is wise that's why he called a serpent the bible say he's what does the bible say and now a serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God God has made, and he said unto the woman, Hey, have God said he shall not eat of every tree of the, of the garden? See, Eve shall say yes. But Eve didn't say yes. Like some of y'all, some of y'all, yeah, some of y'all does, does meditate on the thought. You say, say no. You say, say no. Jesus Christ told the devil, he gave the devil the word. He said, glory to God, it is written. He said, it is written, thou shalt not tempt the Lord good God. And verse 10, he said unto, unto him, get thee hence, Satan, for it is written, thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. What are you saying, preacher? I'm saying the devil is real, but God is more powerful than the devil. Do you believe the devil? The devil is real. But God is mighty. God is El Shaddai. God is more powerful than the devil. My friend, hey, glory to God. Do you believe in the devil? A lot of people don't believe in the devil. And the reason why I don't believe in the devil, because the devil is riding their back. The devil, how do you worship the devil? You, you serve the devil. You fall down the devil. You are a devil child. 
Amen. Glory to God. You witch. Amen.